WGN investigates the epic battle between the mayor and police union over the COVID vaccine and the officers who find themselves caught in the middle. And investigative reporter Ben Bradley has one of their stories. It's stressful every second of the day. Jim Murray finds himself caught in the crossfire of Chicago's COVID vaccine reporting requirement. We are asking all officers who intend on standing with their brothers and sisters and defying this mandate. But well, what I know is we cannot stop. We absolutely cannot stop. This is about saving people's lives. Murray, a field training officer who worked in the high crime Austin community, is one of 40 officers who the union says have been stripped of their police powers for defying orders to enter their vaccination status in the city's online system. I've been a police officer for over 26 years, 18 with the Chicago Police Department, but that that hurts. Murray says he's not interested in the politics from either the mayor or the police union. His hesitancy to get the vaccine dates back to his military service. He was a medic in an armored tank regiment that saw extensive battle during the Gulf War in Iraq. Murray says he was notified years later that vaccines required by the military back then may have caused him years of significant stomach trouble. I don't want to down the down the line, suffer what I suffered in the past. Refusing to report his status was not an easy decision. The married father of two is losing $1,700 in pay every week that he's suspended. I'm in a no pay status. In about 25 days, I'll lose my health benefits. Um, but I, that could all change with a phone call. I can call human resources with the department and, and, and enter the portal and go back to work. I'm not sure that's what I want to do. Murray comes from a family of protectors. One brother is a recently retired Chicago cop. The other is a former officer who's now a firefighter. I don't really want to fall on anybody's sword. I, I, I really don't. I wish it was a lot easier. Um, I wish the vaccine was optional. Because you're happy to be tested. Sure. One voice there. A federal judge has stepped in, ruling the city's vaccination policy can remain in effect, but the city can't enforce an end of the year deadline for officers to actually receive the shot. The judge is trying to push the mayor to arbitrate the issue with the police union. What's clear is the city is trying to avoid mass suspensions of officers. That, of course, could lead to unsafe streets, but that hasn't stopped the city from stripping a few more officers this week, certainly sending a message. And this officer has never had COVID. He has not had COVID. Okay. No. All right. Thank yeah. you, Ben. All right. Breaking news now from Avalon Park on the 